Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome to Hunter Call of the Wild. This is going to be an episode where I'm going to be talking about what was uh, a little bit announced uh, yesterday on uh, the Discord server. Um, they did a, a announcement on Friday because it was the seventh year anniversary for the Hunter. Uh, it's been out for seven years, so they released a uh, video um, to check. Uh, it's called Let's Track Through Our History Together, and it's just a quick video showing kind of how far we've gone and how far, how, mi how much has uh, been added to the Hunter. So it shows all the DLC and all that stuff um, throughout the course of the year that we've had it. Um, and there, obviously, there's a lot. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool video, and it's a pretty cool uh, video to see kind of the uh, time lapse of how and when these um, DLCs came out. Um, however, uh, so although it is a cool video, there was also bad news that came with this notification. The bad news being that we won't be getting the reserve DLC um, as, so as soon as I had hoped. I had hoped that it would be coming out probably at uh, next month or something like that. Like, we'd hear more news about it. However, with um, with this new comment, it has it appears to be pushed back for a while. Probably this summer, I would assume. Um... And that is not a good thing. The There is good to that in the fact that they've been working on it for so long um, that it should look good. And it also kind of hints to where it could be located. And one of my theories is that it is located somewhere that we have never been before. So I don't think it's a rehash of a map. It's going to be similar to like an Australia map where they just add a bu but um, kind of more... I would say better than the Australian map in the fact of species because the Australian map they added kangaroos, crocs, uh, and several different types of deer uh, and bang tang, but they also added have a lot of older uh, animals like red deer, fallow deer, axis deer. And I think with this newer map, they're going to try to add or have a map where it's going to be all brand new animals there might be a few from uh past maps but it's and it's gonna be like a brand new map with brand new animals and uh the only only map i can think of doing that for would be an asian or an indian map so i think there's been talk of there being india of uh India being the next map, and I think that it is most likely going to be true. It's most likely going to be an Indian reserve or an Asian reserve because of how long it it's planning for them to take, that they're planning to take on it, and how long it has taken them already. Because we would have gotten a map at the end of this year, or January, normally, um, but now that it was, but it was delayed and we got the lab instead. And now we're getting more information that it's going to be pushed back even more so. Um, so it has, in my mind, they are taking their time with it, and they are trying. They're adding a lot more to it. The only other thing it could be would be an African map, African 2.0, and it's just going to be big. The big game. Another reason why it's taking so long is because they have to pretty much change a lot about the game to get it to where it's just the big game and they're also probably going to release a lodge like that as well or would have to release a lodge and so there would be a lot for it to do um and which would explain the length now i am more leaning to the indian the india slash asia map than i am to africa 2.0 just because I don't think they wanted, to, I think they want to do like a brand new, uh, new map, something they haven't done before, and oops, a uh, new map, something they haven't done before, and you know, and th they, I don't think they want to rehash an old map for this, and I don't think that would take this long per se. 
So that's why I'm thinking it's an Asian slash Indian map versus uh, Africa 2.0. Either way, it's going to be a while, and I cannot wait for it, and I am hoping that it will have uh, everything that I want, because it would be pretty nice to get a really good map, and a map that they've spent a lot of time on. And so, I think for them to kind of you know, release this uh, a little bit of information as well is also helpful because uh, we get to learn about what's going on and we get to kind of hear from them as to why we aren't getting uh, a new map. Um, and they didn't give any leaks or anything like that. Um, it's just a lot of it is just like, hey, we're spending our time with this map. We'll get you. We'll let you know as soon as we can, which is perfectly fine, understandable. That they want to kind of release it whenever they can, but also realize that it takes. It's gonna take its sweet time. It's gonna take their. They're gonna take their time, so it's a good map for it to come out. So that's the one of the first things that we got. Um, then the next thing they are talking about is other DLCs being released before the map. Uh, and they do say DLCs, whether or not they meant it is one thing, but they do say DLCs. So, and they say it's other than the free cosmetics, so other than the holiday DLCs that we've been getting. Um, so they are planning to release at least one, possibly two DLCs out before uh, the next map. And if they do release Ooh, hi. and depending on which ones it, that they plan on releasing uh it'll be it'll be interesting because i i still feel like they should have a um i still feel like they should release a new lodge personally um, I would like to see a new lodge. I think that would be pretty cool. And it's something that we haven't seen in a long time. And I've talked about this before. But this would be... But putting a new lodge would be a great way to hint at a new map without giving it away directly. Because depending on what you put in said new lodge, like the size of the stands would kind of determine what would be the next hunting thing or what the plan would be. So, like, if you put giant stands on there, it would kind of hint to, hey, we're adding bigger game or we're adding, you know, or they're just adding larger stands so you can put multi-mounts on, um, which I think would be cool. I also do think that if they put um, kind of vanities pieces or pelt pieces where it's like, hey, I want a carpet of... Uh, black bear or I want a carpet of this and that you know I think that would also be cool uh, for them to add so we don't run out of room with the trophies and the trophy lodges that we have and we can just make more uh, that we want you know and we can just use the pelts that we want to use instead of having to pick and choose we would have like all sorts of variety to it um, so that's might be one of them. I personally, I don't think it will be. Uh, they say smaller DLCs, and when they say that, they do mean these ones. And in my opinion, that seems more as to like a new weapon pack or something along those lines. Uh, but we'll see. I do believe uh, if there's going to be two, it's going to be definitely a weapon pack and then something else. Not sure what the something else will be. Uh, but we'll be getting at least one weapon pack before we get the new map. So a little unfortunate to uh, see that and to hear that. But at the same time, it is nice to at least have an idea, have a timeline of when, not necessarily a timeline, but have an idea of when we'll be getting the new map. Uh, unfortunately, this does mean that, yes, again, it's being pushed back and it's most likely being pushed back until... 
probably summer of this year, I would have to say. If they're planning to release one, if not two, uh, smaller, um, smaller maps, or smaller DLCs. If they're releasing one, I mean, one if, yeah, if they're releasing one to two, if it's one, we won't get it, probably. If they keep to the pattern that they've had, we won't be getting it till mid, uh, to mid of the year, so, until summer of this year, so... Uh, that is, is very unfortunate because that pushes it way back, um, to then what we would like and what we've had previously, because previously we've had, um, previously we've had it to where we get, a uh, map deals, two map DLCs a year, one at the winter and one in the summer. Um, but yeah, we didn't get one this winter, and it doesn't look like we'll get one uh, sooner than the summer. So we'll probably get one in the summer, and it will probably be an Asia map, but we shall see. Uh, we, that means we probably won't hear more about that pack until May, I would assume. Something like that. Um, but we should start hearing about the next DLC that comes out soon if not this week maybe next week or the week after maybe coming into march uh we'll hear about the new map that they uh or new dlc that they do plan uh we'll also see what jaxi beard has to say about uh what is going on with um the dlcs and with everything uh on tuesday so be sure to check that stream out uh, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, uh, what happens and, you know, hope that the map that comes out will be good. I have no doubt that it's going to be good. I mean, they made Australia and it is fantastic and they've made so many good maps and they've also been editing like a bunch of animals, like the red deer got revamped, the fallow deer got revamped. So no doubt when they do add the new map. They're going to do some revamping. Um, but yeah, it is unfortunate to hear about it. Uh, they did not say anything about a great one. So that is up in the air as to whether or not we'll get a great one. I think we will. And I completely forgot about this till recently. The great one might be a surprise great one like the black bear. Because... The Black Bear was a great one. Uh, was a surprise great one. I remember when the Black Bear came out, they were like, hey, we're releasing a great one. It's your job to find it. And, you know, then people had to hunt it and find it. Hunt out and find it. And I think, I can't remember who, but some random person found it, posted it, and was like, hey, this, it's a Black Bear. So, no news about a great one. However, it would not surprise me if they added a great one. And did something along those lines. And if they do something along those lines again, I feel like it might be another predator. And I feel like it might be either the coyote or the red fox. Because I've noticed the pattern where they stick to... Well, the pattern they have is two prey, one predator, two prey, one predator. And they've stuck to the two maps that are free. So that's Hirschfelden and Leighton Lakes. Which, to me, makes sense. You know, you want to make a great one a grind for anyone anyone can do it you know and it makes sense you'd want to you know include everyone as much as you can so if they are going to add another great one it probably will be a surprise one just like they've done in the past and they'll probably as well and it's probably will be a if it's a surprise one it'll probably be a predator if they don't tell us I think it'll be a predator, and if it is, it's going to be probably the coyote or fox. They could also plan to release two great ones, but at the same time, I think they're focusing more on the map than they are on a great one. So, we shall see what all happens uh, with the uh, these upcoming months um, and see what they announce. I will let you guys know as much as I can, as soon as I can. Um, because, yeah, I'm on the Discord and they post they post pretty late uh, Pacific time. Uh, so I will, you know, I'll post a video the day after they post it. Um, 
which will probably be less than like 12 hours after the post. Um, but I will let you, I'll keep everyone as much as I can uh, informed. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode or this video. Kind of listening to me rant as well as um, kind of discussing, uh, discussing about the maps, the DLCs, and the future of Hunter. Let me know what you guys think and what you guys want uh, down in the comments below. And uh, share my videos. Um, unfortunately, I'm not getting as many views as before, which is unfortunate and kind of does suck. But, um, but yeah, one way for me to get that is for you guys to uh, share my videos, share my content, um, hit the like button. That helps the algorith algorithm. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, that way, you know, my channel keeps growing and people uh, get to see this more. And I just get to be with one <laughs> with the greats that are uh, part of the Hunter Call of Wild team. Uh, like Flinter and all that. But, uh, yeah, let me get, let me know what you guys feel like. Feel in the comments below. And, yeah, I might, like I said, share my channel to support it. If you guys want to support my channel, that the best way for you guys to do so is sharing it. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Good times.